I decided to choose this topic of LBGT community in the whirling class because I personally feel as though I have seen both sides of the situation. Being from one of the most homophobic countries in the world, Jamaica, and having migrated to the United States, I have seen how both countries handle the idea of gays and a lesbian community. I feel as though the United States is much more progressive than Jamaica. I feel as though the U.S. has more states that are very accepting to the gay community or the lesbian community. Even though there are states out there who are that are still, you know, trying to decide on if they will put in a law for legalizing it, in Jamaica there is nothing like that. There's a lot of hatred and a lot of judgment and a lot of execution. There's a lot of violence as well and I feel as though they need to get on board because there's a lot more countries out there that are finally accepting the equality of gays and their rights. In the third picture on the right, I really, really found this picture to be very touching because it is a father and a son and I love the message that it asks, which is if tomorrow he tells you he is gay, would you stop loving him? The message is basically stopping homophobia and I totally agree with it. Homophobia is very negative and I feel as though it should be banished. One of the most popular campaigns out there is the No Hate campaign and they are notorious for having celebrities promote their message, which I totally agree with because what is more interesting than seeing a celebrity do something and it catches the eye attention of peop just regular people and the no hate campaign is basically just a campaign that gives everybody the right to express themselves and be equal whether you are a lesbian a bisexual a gay or a transgender it is the best way for you to be accepted and be true to yourself and not let anybody tell you that you cannot come out and be yourself I really, really love this campaign because it makes you positive and gives you the right to just express yourself any way you possibly want to and no one will judge you. Okay, so on this slide, there is a lot going on. I totally agree. But I just want to start out with some statistics. There is like 8.8 .8 million people in America that are homosexuals. Which was very interesting to me because I really thought it was lower than that. But they say that the homosexual community is growing every year. And that's very interesting to me. I never thought that it would be that big and that growing. But it is. Um, of course, there's a message of stopping homophobia. And then there is also two centers in America in two of the most biggest cities in the world, you know, in New York City and Los Angeles, um, there's almost one center in every city or universities that can help the LBGT community. Um, they're basically there for strength and support and guidance. And all, they're basically a support group and helping with anything a person needs. In the picture on the left, where they, you kind of see like a dirty alley and people laying down. That is a picture of a video that I found on YouTube of the community in Jamaica. There is a gay community in Jamaica in New Kingston. And the gay community, they live in a gully, which is very, very surprising because I actually live in Kingston and I never thought they actually lived in the gully. And it's very sad to see how you're country and society treat human beings um, who just want equal rights and I feel as though it's very sad and very embarrassing um, I'm pretty sure there's other places in the world that are like that too but Jamaica, just being from there is very sad to see that that is how they treat the people there I know of a street in Kingston where they actually stand and they work because I drive by there all the time but I never thought this is where they actually live and it has actually a gully where your sewage goes and trash and flood waters above 
that picture are some statistics about in the United States. Um, six in ten people or children who come out with their sexual orientation in school feel um very threatened and not safe in school. Um, ninety percent of people, which is interesting to me, come out to their friends instead of family members. That was very interesting to me. Um, you would think they would come out to their family members, but ninety percent of the time it's their close friends. Eighty percent of people in society feel threatened by the living environments that they live in and in the quote above that there is one about it is a quote about um basically a jamaican song there are very negative songs out there in the reggae community that talk about killing and persecuting gays and some of the artists include Bojo Bantan or a group called TOK they are actually banned and Vibes Cartel actually sorry um, they are actually banned from performing in the United States because of their anti-gay um, message and the violence that they promote in their songs I know that Bojo Bantan, Vibes Cartel and TOK are banned from performing in the United States so some of the lyrics that you know as you see on the powerpoint is the boom bye bye in a batty boy head which is basically a gunshot to their head and in jamaica we call the gays a batty boy so that is the violence that they kind of see and promote and it's not really good and it's costing them money because they cannot perform overseas as you can see on the top right picture um, this is the legal status of sex relationships in the Middle East. Of course, that's another very hostile place to be gay, um, the Middle East. And um, you see that the two biggest, the two biggest um, percentages are the purple and the red. And those are both illegal. And there are fines and death penalty for people who decide to want to come out to be gay. Okay, this is another map of the rights around the world. Um, you know, there's protection, perse persecution, and recognition across the globe. Um, the persecution is, you can see, are mostly like the red colors, the pink colors, the light pink and yellow. And those are mostly in Africa or the Middle East those are where the most of the rights are for persecution um as you can see there is prevention as well there's some places in europe that are like that and then you have recognition of marriage which you can see is is very little but there's still some kind of laws out there for them um and then there's a big group of greys which was interesting to me because that means it's ambiguous not many specific laws against or for it it's just ambiguous i really really love this map because it re it shows the countries in the world that are anti-gay and then it also shows where you know gay marriage is illegal or recognition i um there are about 76 to 78 countries in the world where it is illegal to be gay um as you can see the reddish colors are for people who will get the death penalty or criminalized for being gay and then the gray as well as before as in the last picture is no recognition of, as well um for such countries like uh, Russia and some states in the United States um, and surprisingly there are some gay marriages that are legal in South America and there are some gay unions as well as I said before there are penalties up to 10 to 14 years in prison and there's lots of violence and execution as I know for myself in my own country, 
people are beaten to death, people are stoned to death, people are burned, people are shot, people are stabbed just because of their sexual orientation.